to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hethal. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to show you how to make dan kebab, kind of like meatloaf. Um, and so it's excellent as an appetizer, just like little square pieces. Or you can use it as a sandwich uh, filler. Excellent. And here's what you need. One pound lean ground beef, two thirds cup yogurt, two eggs beaten, half cup fried onions, ten sprigs of cilantro finely chopped, one tablespoon ginger garlic paste, green chilies finely chopped to taste, one teaspoon red chili powder or to taste, one tablespoon garam masala, quarter teaspoon meat tenderizer, salt to taste, green chilies, sliced onions and lime for garnishing. So for the dam kebab recipe, we have a pound of lean beef over here, ground, and we just prefer to use that, it's just a little healthier. And we're just going to mix it and we're using our hands, it's just easier and uh, you have to get down and dirty with this uh, meat over here. <laughs> so Make sure you wash your hands though. <laughs> exactly. Alright. So in the beef we're going to add our yogurt. And our eggs which have been lightly beaten. And I'm going to mix it. simple uh, recipe. It's just to uh, throw it all together and cook it. <laughs> so uh, while I'm just doing that, we have our oven preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we also have a little pie plate like this. Uh, you don't have to use a pie plate but just any kind of pan. We've lightly coated it with some spray cooking oil. And then here's the easiest part. <laughs> throw everything else in. <laughs> so you have the meat tenderizer, ginger garlic paste, garam masala, red chili powder, finely chopped green chilies, salt to taste, fried onions, and finally our cilantro leaves. And we'll mix it again. This is a perfect recipe when you have a big gathering and uh, you know, it's just literally throw everything in together and just put it in and you can actually make it ahead of time and keep it and just reheat it. It still tastes wonderful. And it sure beats having, you know, to make little, little kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> it takes so much time to make those kebabs and then bake it. This is like all in one shot. Okay, this is mixed very well. And I'm going to pour it into our greased pie dish. And then just press it in, flatten it out. And we have some aluminum foil. Go ahead and cover this. And we're going to put this in our oven and bake it for one hour. Okay, the kebab is out of the oven. It baked for 40 minutes covered and then 20 minutes uncovered. Uh, that helped the the kebab get a nice color on the top and it evaporated most of the liquid. Now all the liquid is not gone uh, because there was yogurt and all that that forms uh, more liquid. Plus you don't want it to dry out. It will be very hard to exactly eat and it won't taste very good. So there's very little liquid left and over time it will absorb it even more. So and now it's uh, been sitting for about uh, 10 minutes and it's good enough to cut. You want to give it the 10 minutes for it to rest before you cut it. So you can cut it either as a pie, so that way you can serve it as a pie, mm -hmm. or you can just cut uh, squares, okay. so you can serve it uh, with a toothpick or you know just like uh, little kebabs. And so to garnish your kebab, you can um, take some sliced onions. We've thinly sliced our onions, and just sprinkle a little bit of salt and red chili powder on them, and then you can sprinkle them on top of the kebab. Mm. Yeah. Sounds great. And of course we have our lime also, uh, a squeeze of this over that, it would be awesome. Right. Kebab without lime? <laughs> no, no.